Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a retro review for you and I'm looking at Super Star Wars for the PS4. Super Star Wars was originally released in 1992 for the Super Nintendo and was based on the 1977 movie A New Hope. Super Star Wars is a run and gun side scrolling platform game with other vehicle based sections featuring land speeders and X Wings. The game loosely follows the plot of the movie but there is a little bit of creative license used here to make it a more enjoyable experience as a game. You play as Luke Skywalker for the most part but in the latter stages of the game you will get to control either Han Solo or Chewbacca. You get three lives and three continues to complete the game. The game gives you visual options for the bordering images. If you want 4x3 or you want full screen with some kind of Star Wars paraphernalia as the border, it's up to you. There are also trophies included this time and a global leaderboard just to see how your score fares against the rest of the world. So it's a run and gun action title with a little bit of platform action. And the first thing to note is this is not a modern game and it is actually quite difficult. I remember playing this every Saturday morning when I was growing up on my Super NES and it drove me insane but I did absolutely love it as well. You get to use a lightsaber eventually once you get it off Obi-Wan but at first you just have a basic blaster. The game starts off in Tatooine but then later moves on to the other locations from the movie and as I said you get to fly in the X-Wing down the famous trench of the Death Star so you can reenact that movie scene which I remember back in the day that was such an enjoyable moment. You know, all the characters and enemies from the movies are in here and also a few others that I've never heard of before. It's fast, it's frenetic and it's just very very old school. So if you're a modern gamer who's used to being told press X to climb then circle to hit the bad person and congrats you've just completed the game, you're really going to have a difficult time with this game. This is proper gaming for proper old school gamers. The game doesn't care if you die, it's ruthless in parts and it made me remember how games used to be. The checkpoints, they're not very frequent and you know, often you'll do a really hard section and then you die afterwards because you don't know what's coming and then it'll just throw you back to the way you were originally, so it's tough. You know, overall it takes you back down memory lane, you know, it reminded me why I fell in love with Star Wars and it reminded me why I fell in love with computer games. It's a game that captures the feeling of that first classic movie, that movie that started this whole Star Wars phenomenon. It's difficult, yes, but it's well crafted, it's challenging and it just harks back to an old era where you know you really had to be good to complete a game. So graphically, back in the day this was like cutting edge, but today obviously it looks dated because it's quite an old game for sure. You know, it has the Star Wars vibe, the graphics are good and yeah, it's 28 years old. It still looks good and you can still feel like it's Star Wars. It's not like, oh, what is this? This doesn't even resemble it. They definitely captured Star Wars. The music and the sound effects, they're very classic to the Star Wars franchise. They are maybe a little bit kind of arcadey with a, like a retro twist to them, but they were from back in the day before the audio work on games was as high level as it is today. Okay, so what's good and what's bad? What's good? The game captures the Star Wars mood perfectly. It's challenging and very satisfying when you do finally complete it. It's a retro gaming classic. It's great fun to play as Luke, Han and Chewie in the challenging and well designed levels. The game audio will bring back a lot of nostalgia for older gamers and the Death Star section is legendary and it brings back so many fond memories for me. What's bad? The difficulty will be a shock for a lot of people. Some of the controls feel a little bit dated but in time you will get used to them. So what is the verdict? Well, back in the 90s when I first played this I just thought wow. It was the first Star Wars game I remember playing and it made me feel like I was part of the movie and being able to take down the Death Star was such a highlight for me and I just loved it. But over time I did forget how hard this game is, oh my god, but I soon remembered, Jesus Christ, this has been driving me insane the last few weeks, but it does make me realise how bad gamers are nowadays, like we've got so soft and we've got so used to easy games, this is like proper difficult. Yeah, I remember spending hours one Saturday afternoon trying to clear some level on this game and I nearly threw my control pad out the window. It was like, oh my god, I was getting so mad. But, you know, when you finished it, you felt this sense of satisfaction. It's that, it's that kind of Dark Souls feeling that is kind of coming back into vogue now. Having a tough challenge and completing that challenge is actually more worthwhile than lots of easy challenges. 
So my score for Super Star Wars is 8.5 out of 10. It's a classic game from a bygone era, but one I would still recommend playing if you like Star Wars and you are up for the challenge. Okay, so that was the review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.